Hey guys, Adam Trigger here, wagertalk.com. We are going to talk the week 11 NFL finale, Monday night football between the Chiefs and the Eagles. But first, head on over to wagertalk.com and use coupon code ALL30 for $50 off of 30 day all access for any handicapper on the site. I know for me right now with college basketball going, it's one of my highest volume times of the year um, with college hoop, college football, NFL all going at the same time. And we've got other handicappers. We've got NBA, NHL. It's a high volume time of the year for everyone. Um, so bang for your buck. Um, this is a great time to try 30 days of all access, get every single play from your, your chosen handicapper. And you can do it with coupon code ALL30 to get $50 off. But let's go back to the NFL. Let's talk Monday Night Football. Chiefs, Eagles. Um, this feels like a spot where I think the Chiefs probably break out offensively uh, for a couple of reasons. One, I just feel like this was a, a team that was starting to fatigue heading into one of these like late bye weeks. You got to remember the Chiefs, man, they, they've they played so many sort of like high profile, high magnitude games over the, the you know, the last few weeks that, you know, it starts to take its toll. I mean, any of these teams that have a late bye week, you, you see you see it start to happen week 9, 10, 11 as they go into that late bye and then, of course, the Chiefs had an overseas trip mixed in there. So, you know, I, I just think you've watched this team the last couple of weeks. There was a couple of poor offensive poor performances against the Broncos. Specifically, the second one was far worse. And then, you know, the second half against the Dolphins, they get shut out. They had a quick start to that game, but that offense com- completely went away. Um, and they were they were lucky to sort of survive and hang on there. But now we get a Chiefs offense or Chiefs team, and you know, but we're going to talk the offense specifically right now, that gets to rest and prepare for a, an Eagles defense that's not great. You know, the, the Eagles, for as good as they've been this season, I, I this defense isn't very good, and, and it's it's specifically poor against the pass. So Patrick Mahomes and, and the Chiefs should thrive offensively here. I, I actually think – that we will see the Chiefs have one of their best offensive games, you know, in, in recent weeks. Like because again, they, their offense has really kind of struggled um, into the bye. So I expect a nice bounce back here for the Chiefs' offense. I think they play well. I think they move it extremely well against the Eagles. And listen, you could make a case that the Eagles are are in a similar boat. Like they also come off a of bye week. They're going to have time to prepare. Their offense has been as good as any you know, in the league as far as like accumulating numbers this year. Um, so, you know, you, one could certainly make a case that they'll score against the Chiefs. But, you know, if you really break down the Eagles schedule, a lot of those stats have been accumulated against poor defenses. You know, they've played, you know, they got the Vikings early in the season before the Vikings figured out sort of how to how to blitz and, and generate pressure that way. Uh, the Bucks defense has not been good. They've gotten to play the commanders twice. It's a it's a bottom five to ten defense in the league. Rams, not great. Dolphins have, have been a bottom like 10 defense this year. And then the, the elite defenses, the really good ones that the, the Eagles have played, they've struggled. They lost to the Jets. Um, in you know, that's an elite defense, and they really struggled with that defense in that game. Even last week a game they get a win and and they were only a a couple inches away from losing or a couple yards away from losing still outgained 406 to 292. Um, So did you fail to to put up more than 300 yards against the Cowboys and the chiefs have a very good defense. Um, You know, this is, this is what I would consider to be one of the more underrated defenses in the league because chiefs are just synonymous with Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey putting up points. I feel like the chiefs defense um, you know, gets just doesn't get enough credit all the time. Um, they've been really good this season. And, you know, that's a top, you know, I would say top half of the league unit. You, one could argue that they're, they're top 10. Um, and, and, and I think that they would, they're, they're the more likely team to trouble the other offense. Um, if they can get pressure on Jalen Hurts, I, I think they could potentially uh, trouble this Eagles offense. So, yeah, I mean, you might see a shootout here, in which case I, I, would still think, you know, the Chiefs at, at home have a slight edge. But I, I trust the Chiefs to stop the Eagles offense more than the other way around. And I trust Andy Reid off a of bye. Even like Nick Sirianni's 2-0 and off a of bye. But Andy Reid is his over the, like a 30-game sample in his career has won two-thirds of his games out of a bye week. 
Um, so in this, in this case, I just think the better bet here is the Chiefs. And against the small number, it, it looks very playable. So Chiefs, we'll call it minus two, it looks like is, is what it's at right now. I think you could even make a good case to money line here. Um, you know, if it's cheap enough, cheap enough uh, I do think the Chiefs get it done and, and win on Monday Night Football. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. And click on the videos on your screen for other free NFL Week 11 picks. And you can get all of them on our YouTube channel at wt.buzz TV.